Good evening, everyone. This is Phil Alexander. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Malagra del Mar Beach and Golf Resort. And uh, I am pleased to be here with uh, our CEO and uh, Managing Principal, Roger Keeling. Uh, Roger, are you there? I am, Phil. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Um, I'm coming to you from Nicaragua. I have to be uh, in the Boston area. But uh, we're actually having some glorious weather, so although not as warm as uh, Nicaragua, I'm, uh, I'm pleased to say it is very temperate here. Uh, Roger, we, um, we have a number of people that are on the call tonight. Um, this is an exciting uh, evening. We have a number of, of very, very uh, uh, interesting things to, to get into and uh, a lot of which, though, uh, surrounds, and, and I'd like to, to kick it off straight away here. Uh, while everyone is looking at this quote, let me just um, mention a, a couple of housekeeping issues, if I may. Um, first of all, if you look on your control panel on the right-hand side, you're going to notice a couple of things. First of all, there's a little hand symbol. And we may, from time to time, to make this a little more interactive, uh, ask for opinion or, or thoughts or whatever, and you can raise that hand sig signal. If anybody wishes to test it out, by all means, go ahead and let's see if, uh, if that's working properly. Do you see the hand si sim symbol on the right-hand side? Well, we see one or two showing up there. There we go. Okay. Very good, excellent, um, and um, you can put them all down, or uh, I can uh, take care of that. Um, the next thing is, um, even if you need to jump off at, during the course of the um, uh, seminar, um, that's fine, and we respect and understand that. We are going to endeavor tomorrow to send out a replay link of the entire uh, seminar, so uh, you won't miss a thing. However, um, there will be a very brief three or four question um, uh, questionnaire when you do. It would be very much appreciated if you could fill that out uh, and submit that uh, before you sign off, log off uh, for the evening. That uh, only helps us to get better at what we do. Um, and with that, and, and without any further ado, let's push forward. Um, Roger, uh, there has been a lot of press about Nicaragua lately, and part of what we're talking about tonight is why that is, and, and you know, the world seems to be starting to pay attention to Nicaragua, and our suggestion is that, you know, everyone we know should likewise be doing the same. Um, but what's your take on it? You've lived in Nicaragua now since 2007 with your wife and your daughter. Um, you made a move from a seemingly you know, fantastic life and lifestyle in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, you know, let's look, or let's start by looking at this uh, quote from International Living. Um, what are your thoughts? Uh, you know, is Nicaragua, un, uh, you know, unknown and un misunderstood, or what do you think? Well, I think it's, it's unknown and misunderstood to people who have not researched the country. Um, for us, uh, as you said, we've been here six years now, and uh, what we're seeing is that the country is finally um, getting the attention of the rest of the world, which we we all believe that it would. And uh, you know, we we got sidetracked a little bit with a world economic recession and and uh, you know a few other things thrown in along the way. But what we're seeing now is what really we all believed would happen when we made especially when we made the decision to come here and invest and be part of this this culture and this lifestyle down here um, it's it's finally becoming real and uh, that's exciting for all of us well let's take a look at, at some of the other things that we're seeing out there um, first of all if there is anyone on the call although I I don't think from a quick glance that there is anybody but still you know where is Nicaragua it is in Central America it's the largest country in Central America enjoying both Caribbean and Pacific coasts there um, easily accessible from uh, Atlanta Miami um, uh, Houston uh, and and other points um, very very 
simple to get to. But the New York Times um, listed it as number three on the list of the 46 places to go in 2013. Lonely Planet uh, suggested that uh, Nicaragua is quickly becoming one of the most popular places to escape winter. It has culture, adventure, sand, and surf. It's all part of the cachet. The Montreal Gazette. Um, uh, said this Central American nation offers empty beaches, exotic wildlife, tropical forests, and recreational activities, and prices have yet to catch up with neighbor, neighboring Costa Rica. Uh, you know, going even further, um, NBC News did a, a, a piece on uh, U.S. retirees flocking to Nicaragua. U.S. News & World Report. Not only in 2011 did it list it as the number one affordable international retirement haven, but it's also on the list of the best overseas retirement options for 2013 again. AARP ranks it in the top five of international retirement destinations. And then we've seen a number of other articles along the way that have popped up in the mainstream media, whether it be um, you know, house hunting in Nicaragua uh, a year ago, February, uh, in the New York Times, or uh, this past September, there was a, a really cool piece on 36 hours in Managua, uh, and then finally uh, in November, uh, and I'm I'm skipping over. There were other mentions along the way, but there was a really nice article uh, about uh, uh, entitled "The Delegate Balance" um, that. Uh, uh, Carly Kloss uh, wrote in uh, the Times Magazine um, in November. Um, Royal Caribbean, uh, the, the the massive cruise line, um, has presented a cruise port project to uh, the country um, that uh, would would see massive investment and bring not just periodic but regular um, large cruise ship traffic. Uh, to the country and uh, all that that entails. Um, Travel Blackboard, which uh, is a site that 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 or e Travel Blackboard that many people seek out, you know, uh, quoted from other sources, but nonetheless that Nicaragua is the safest for tourists to Central America, um, and they go on to say that it's been dubbed the safest travel destination in Central America according to the United Nations Development Program figures and. Uh, in fact, um, everyone from Interpol to a number of other sources have suggested that Nicaragua is the second safest country in the Americas, second only to Canada, safer than the United States, safer than Panama, than Costa Rica, than than any of the Latin other Latin American countries. Um, and this is all very, very important stuff. This is probably the very first question that we're asked um, by the uninitiated. Uh, whenever we're talking about Nicaragua, Travel Weekly, uh, you know, and and not to worry if you can't read all this in in you know a short period of time, we are going to send out a replay link uh, as quickly as we can, probably tomorrow. Um, but you know, the interesting thing of what Travel Weekly uh, really zones in on here uh, is not only is Nicaragua uh, in a very very cool place right now in terms of its development but um, it, it basically is capturing a lot of market share from its neighbors um, not just Costa Rica but Mexico the Caribbean and so on um, and you know where Nicaragua is today is sort of like Costa Rica in the 80s Belize in the 90s and you know uh, Vietnam and, and Cambodia um, just a handful of years ago, uh, once Western hotel brands uh, arrived, and you know, as Travel Weekly points out, and I don't disagree, ten years from now, people that that come in, you know, last year, this year, <clears throat> will absolutely say, "Hey, you should have seen this place ten years ago." Okay, so. Um, you know, this is a, a shot of uh, the oldest colonial city in the Americas, Granada, dating from 1524. Um, so let's talk for a brief moment about um, one of the aspects that is bringing Nicaragua to the forefront, and that's tourism. Um, and, you know, the bottom line is that because of the safety, 
uh, that you know the the um, Mario Salinas uh, who just recently um, stepped down from as tourism minister um, in the past couple of days uh, you know pioneered a number of international agreements uh, that Nicaragua has signed with not only other countries but has also been responsible for uh, engineering the arrival of a lot of hotel brands. Now, Roger, what, what is your take on um, what the affect of some of this Western influence coming into Nicaragua at a time when they're, you know, just coming out of, like everyone is, the, the economic downturn and they've got a, a, a pretty upbeat economy right now. Um, you know, President Ortega is, is making tourism a priority. What do you see for the immediate future? Well, the going forward, as I mentioned a few moments ago, I mean, we're, we're start, starting to see an era here in Nicaragua that we all anticipated, and it, it's, it's finally in front of us. The economy is growing here. The number of tourism arrivals have in, uh, increased dramatically over the past few years. I think what's happening is people are coming out of this economic recession and they're saying, okay, we're looking for everything we want, but we want it for less money or we want it um, uh, where there's a lower cost of living. And these people are, are, are zoning in and tuning in to Nicaragua and saying, okay, Nicaragua may be it. I need to go there and see it. And I think that's what's happening with the number of people who are actually coming to visit the country now. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, and and what a beautiful country it is. Here's a picture of the largest lake in uh, Central America, Lake Nicaragua, the largest lake south of the the Great Lakes. In fact, um, you know, there are so many things going on with respect to to Nicaragua's economy that I think are uh, really really exciting uh, with respect to the future. Nicaragua is at the forward edge of an expansion curve, no question about it. We saw the same thing in Costa Rica 20 years ago, and now we're seeing it in Nicaragua. Um, and its time is arriving. And I think that's part of what has the world media uh, and the major uh, North American media taking notice. Um, you know, uh, because the country really is the, the, the region's premier emerging market. It is a safe democratic country. It's not a, uh, a dictatorship. It's not a communist country. It's a safe, democratic country and has had peaceful transference of power through election for more than two decades. I'm not even going to bother repeating that. You know, like they said in school, if I, if I say it twice, write it down. Um, the bottom line is if you can't wrap your brain around this, then maybe Nicaragua isn't for you. It's an active member of CAFTA encourages foreign investment. Uh, the World Bank has ranked it the number one Central American country for investor protection, um, uh, both in 2011 and 2012. Uh, you can buy, and this is kind of an important point here, uh, especially if you're familiar with Costa Rica and Mexico, you can actually buy freehold property with title insurance, and you can buy and own beachfront property. You don't have to deal with concession rights or, or, or otherwise. Um, you know, through this sort of record-setting growth, you know, uh, there's been a 17% increase in foreign direct investment. There's a 30% increase in exports. Uh, GDP has gone up um, 4 to 5% consistently uh, for the last couple, three years. Um, Travel Age West has ranked it in the top three travel destinations um, this past year. Uh, Lonely Planet has ranked it in the top five value destinations. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's it really is a, a beautiful country. Investors love it. Retirees love it. I mean, foreign nationals uh, can own 100% deeded, Freehold real property. You can own beachfront real estate, as I said. No concession laws uh, on the books. Um, there is no discrimination against foreign real estate investors. You have full rights to own, rent, sell, and repatriate profits um, on par with a Nicaraguan citizen. 
This, by the way, is a beautiful crater lake. Come to Nicaragua. We'll be uh, with pleasure. We'll take you there to, to see that from the idyllic little community of Catarina. It's, it's uh, the Laguna do Apoyo. And they brought in um, a couple of years back, Nicaraguan Law 694. Don't worry about the number. Just focus on the, the, the point of the law. It's an incentive for retirees that with a pension from either a public or a private institution, you're eligible to retire in Nicaragua with only $600 in monthly pension. Uh, and as long as you have, uh, as a retiree, an income from a stable source, such as dividends or otherwise, uh, with just 750 per month, you're good to go. And your the retiree's spouse, children, and parents are also eligible for just $150 per month each. Um, so that's very, very cool. It also brings a number of other uh, rights, such as the ability to bring in um, uh, a, a large quantity of household goods. I, I believe the number is 50,000. Um, Roger, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and you can also import once every five years tax-free um, a personal vehicle <clears throat> with a value up to $25,000 uh, every five years. So uh, you have a very beautiful country with a lot of history and so on. And, you know, the cost of living is completely out of control. Roger, am I making this up here? No, I, I, as I look down through your list, I think it's, uh, for the most part, very accurate. I mean, you can, you can go either way on the numbers here, actually, Phil. It's, uh, it's a little bit of everything for everyone here, and it's all at a reasonable price. It's it's absolutely incredible that essentially, you know, depending on if you want to be uh, cost conscious, um, I've seen numbers that suggest that a couple can live very comfortably with a maid three days a week um, for just under a thousand dollars a month. You can't do that in the states. That's why so many retirees are looking at Nicaragua because their whole plan. Uh, to retire wherever, Florida or, or California or otherwise, just went all the heck with the economic downturn, and they said, okay, I guess I have to work for another 10 years. Well, maybe you don't need to. Maybe you can look at Nicaragua. Maybe you can come and enjoy for nine ninety five a month a lifestyle that doesn't force you to scrimp and save, that, that has the maid coming in three days a week. Or, you know what? For fifteen hundred, you've got a full time maid, probably a full time gardener and driver, and you're able to go out two or three nights a week. It's not such a bad life. The food is fantastic. The people are are warm, friendly, and welcoming, uh, and there's a culture there that that is is very difficult to describe as anything other than fantastic. I mean, the Nicaragua of today is this. Tourism is up and growing annually, 10 to 14% per year, and it's been that way for a few years. It, it passed a million visitors for the first time in its history in 2010, and it has been going up at double-digit numbers ever since. The economy is up. It's getting stronger annually. Foreign direct investment is growing annually, and in the it's in the midst of a boom trend. There's a major uh, influx of international hospitality companies, everybody from Hyatt to to um, a, a number of other more regional um, brands that are coming in and setting up shop and, uh, uh, you know, just growing um, massively. But I think the most exciting thing, and Roger, I'll let you be the one to to share this, but the world's largest hotel company has arrived in Nicaragua. Am I correct, Roger? That is that is correct. Um, earlier this year, uh, in February of 2014, we here at Milagro del Mar announced that uh, we have joined forces with the, as Phil said, the world's largest hotel company, the Wyndham Hotel Group. Wyndham Hotels and Resorts 
and we are proud to uh, to now be partners with Wyndham Hotel Group at Malavra del Mar, and we will be opening the first internationally branded uh, hotel on the Pacific coast of Nicaragua in 2014. We're all very excited about this this uh, huge huge step forward for our project, and. Uh, you know, for the people who were early investors with us in this project, uh, I think everybody is, uh, even though we've um, fought through a, a rough economic uh, world over the past few years, I think everybody's very pleased at this point in time that uh, uh, we were able to uh, work through this and come up with a product that is uh, truly outstanding from a, uh, not only from a property ownership standpoint, but from a tourism and hospitality standpoint. Uh, Roger, uh, you know, thank you for for that input, and um, I, I I think it is a uh, a very welcome uh, change and so on. But you know, I I wanted to take a quick look at this master plan because what Milagro del Mar started as, and I don't want to take a lot of time about this because I think people are are probably more interested to hear the, about the meat and potatoes. But I, I think nonetheless that it is important to understand there is a, a, a master developer and development called Grand Pacifica, and Milagro del Mar um, grew out of the heart of Grand Pacifica uh, and was really little more than this eight acre parcel that's in that black circle that you see on the screen. Uh, and and essentially, if you would, just walk us through the last 18 months or so and how we got from that little black circle to now where we, uh, you know, either own, control, manage, a good part of what we see here um, on this version of our master plan. Um, how did that happen? Well, it's it's very simple. We um, we wanted to f take the Milagro del Mar condominium project and and develop that not only as a as a condominium project but as a tourist destination. And we felt like the best way to do that was to. Um, to partner up with a major hotel provider, which we have now done, Wyndham, and you know Wyndham has put their uh, flag, their brand, on our condominium hotel pro project. And uh, outside of that, we have we've also through through some transactions here within Nicaragua have uh, acquired the um, the operation of the golf course, as well as uh, picking up quite a few um, home sites um, where we are. Um, selling, building, developing, whatever you want to call it, uh, single-family residential homes. So what we feel like now is Milagro del Mar is not only just a condominium project on the beach, but Milagro del Mar is now truly a beach and golf resort, as you said, within the master development called Grand Pacifica. And uh, we we are the heart of Grand Pacifica. We're the, we're the driving force right now to... Uh, to take this entire project forward, and we're, um, you know, develop, uh, we're improving the golf course, we're building homes, we're doing everything we can to uh, make this a really exciting place to come and visit, vacation, or or retire, or uh, own property. It's it's a a little bit of everything, and there's something out there for everyone who is looking for, at property overseas. Well, I, and and I think also important to note here, um, and and Grand Pacifica certainly must be given its due. I mean, they uh, uh, they were were like few others pioneers uh, in this part of the world, and uh, started with twenty five hundred acres, and uh, you know which still exists and is it's still there, and and we through the the transactions that you've engineered uh, uh, and the, the various shareholders involved and so on um, have grown the the uh, Milagro footprint from you know a, a, where it started at around eight acres to now have its its toes extending you know to about 500 acres but also very exciting is um, for those that have had the pleasure of visiting um, uh, Milagro del Mar, you know that there's 
an 11 kilometer long, which really by comparison with a lot of projects in Nicaragua is not long at all, but nonetheless an 11 kilometer long packed earth roadway in from the main road to the project itself. But that is going to be paved and paved in very short order, is it not? That is correct. We are we're currently finalizing plans um, for the paving of that road, which will uh, once and for all make us a a destination within the country, only 45 minutes to an hour from the capital city and the airport, and and we will be paved uh, from the airport all the way to the front door of our hotel, to the front door of these home sites, uh, uh, to the front door of the golf clubhouse. The um, I'm not ready to announce details of this quite yet, but I will tell you that I am 100 now 100 percent confident that we will be paving the uh, the last 11 kilometers into this project, which will uh, it's going to make life easier for everyone. It's going to uh, increase the value of property, and uh, it's going to make the whole uh, vacation retirement uh, experience here at Milagro that much better. Couldn't agree with you more. Let, let's take two seconds real quick um, because, again, for the uninitiated, I think it's important to realize that Milagro del Mar, as it stands today, this is not a, hey, everyone, you've got to have a lot of vision, a lot of dreaming going on, a lot of creative, uh, uh, you know, mindset, you know, and, and ideas to imagine how it's going to be. We have a fully functioning resort. Um, we offer uh, and manage the Las Perlas oceanfront fully furnished condominiums. Uh, and uh, also, as Roger referred a moment ago, we have nine playable holes, nine holes in and playable. Um, the fourth hole, my favorite, is our signature hole, which is a beautiful, relatively short par three right down to the the beach uh it's it's fantastic stables um uh, beautiful horses both rescue horses and illusions and otherwise available for horseback riding surf we don't have just one we have two world-class surf breaks one uh hemis i won't say why it's called hemis uh right off um the the, the front of the property is ranked 63rd in the top 100 surf breaks in the world. We also have Osochio, which is off of the North Beach, um, where it's it's a lot tamer, but still presents very nice A-frames and otherwise uh, for the initiated. Um, beautiful waves, anywhere from a beginner to an intermediate or an expert looking for very consistent waves. Um, Bird watching, over 180 varieties of native birds on the property. Uh, we have our own on-site naturalist uh, who is only too happy to take you out and, and um, show you uh, a good number of those uh, varieties of native birds. And uh, the very delicious Tosca Restaurante, which um, is a full-service restaurant and bar, uh, and uh, constantly reinventing itself, I think, and, and improving. And uh, I look forward to getting back to Nicaragua because um, uh, Chris, the, the restaurant manager, promised to, a whole new menu is on its way. I, I don't know if it's arrived yet. Don't spoil the surprise, Roger, if it has. <laughs> but um, fantastic food and, and always um, a, a lot of fun atmosphere and so on right next to the infinity pool. Um, La Vida Nica, which is our on-site concierge and property management um, uh, outfit. And, uh, you know, everything, that's where you check in. That's where if you have an issue or a question or otherwise, they take care of you. It's also when, when you need, if you need a, a ride, or if you need a driver, if you uh, want to go on an excursion or, or um, recreation off the property or otherwise, um, you see the folks at La Vida Nica. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then we have Milagro Verde, which is our eco-friendly uh, community, home sites and custom homes. 
uh, all with um, very eco-friendly, um, uh, everything from gray water treatment to um, solar power and otherwise. Uh, and that presents, uh, I think, a very good opportunity and, and an extraordinary value um, to uh, design your own home, have it be um, in this tradition of, of eco-friendly uh, construction um, within Milagro del Mar. Um, that is a, a project being pioneered by one of our, um, uh, also one of our board members and, and partners, um, uh, and uh, it is um, in the heart of Milagro del Mar. Um, and then uh, we have uh, San Diego Viejo, we have home sites, that's the area surrounding uh, Milagro del Mar itself, home sites available for custom building, and then of course, as we've been discussing, um, the Wyndham Ocean Village, which is currently under construction and due to open in 2014. So, at the bottom line, fully functioning resort. You can come, stay, enjoy today. You don't have to wait any length of time. It is an absolutely fantastic property. Um, Roger, talk to me a little bit about all of the headache and heartache and, and successes that you've gone through um, to bring the golf course, just as one example, back from where it was 15 months ago. Well, I, I think of it as 15 months ago we had an opportunity, and uh, I feel like that we've worked hard to take advantage of that opportunity, and, and as you can see from this picture, the uh, the golf course is looking good. Uh, it's one of one of my ways to relieve stress. I'm out there uh, every chance I get, which is not very often anymore. But um, I love this layout. I love the oceanfront holes. You see, the um, the picture here is worth a thousand words. It's it's a beautiful golf course, and with some with some uh, tender loving care, we have uh, been able to to take it up a notch, and we're. Uh, we're working hard towards bringing it to uh, an internationally acclaimed level, and that's our goal. Well, it is it is a fun fun play, and if you look, uh, you see the the um, flag there. That's the um, green for the third hole. Beyond and slightly to the right is the uh, signature fourth green, and then to the left, off the screen, is the T. But that's what you're driving at. It's Absolutely spectacular. My favorite hole. So far, I have yet to uh, par it, um, or I mean, I have yet to do anything other than par. I haven't uh, bogeyed that hole yet. I'm still waiting for the elusive hole-in-one that one of our residents, in fact, had on the seventh hole. This is a nice shot because it, it shows uh, at the top of the screen so the uh, Las Perlas Oceanfront Condominiums. That's the building that you see uh, at the upper part of that. To the left is um, the building that houses La Vida Nica, Tosca Ristorante. It has the, the oceanfront infinity pool. These are a couple of homes uh, on the property. Uh, and here's another view, which gives an even better uh, picture of um, uh, Las Perlas. And I think it's important to make note of these Las Perlas condominiums, uh, because when we start talking about some of the uh, opportunities, um, either whole ownership or fractional at um, the Wyndham Ocean Village, um, these condominiums are actually going to come into play. If you come down uh, and, and spend time with us, uh, especially even um, at our uh, next destination tour, which is May 1st to 5th, don't worry about writing that down. You know, we'll talk about it in a moment. Um, this is where you'll stay, uh, and that's the infinity pool beyond. Uh, and um, so, you know, here is something that we get a lot of questions trying to understand the um, the various phases that we're going through that will result when we're done in the Wyndham being, as they say in the in the industry parlance, 
212 keys. Well, phase one is 42 condominium residences. Uh, it's made up of two and three bedroom floor, floor plans. Uh, for the most part, the two bedrooms are in this sort of center main building here, and the three bedrooms are in the two end parts of the building, left and right, that stick out, two on each end, four total per floor. The first floor is a little unique because of both the two-story lobby and also uh, it has only uh, four units. They're two-bed, two-and-a-half bath. They're oversized two-bed units. We'll talk about that more later. When phase one uh, uh, phase one is expected to be completed somewhere around mid-2014. <clears throat> By the end of this year, we expect to start construction on phase two. You see a little pool there. This is ocean side of uh, the main building that you're looking at. And as it slopes slightly down the hill in a multi-tier resort pool to the beach, it's going to have villas flanking either side of it. That's phase two, as you can see there. Now, we, we haven't finalized the floor plans. We haven't finalized the exact positioning yet. But we expect it essentially to be 42 villas, a mixture of two and three bedroom floor plans, somewhere in the 1,800 to 2,000 square foot range, and our expected release is possibly as early as this spring, if not June or thereabouts. Completion, I say first quarter of 2015, I'm trying to be conservative, could be before that. And then along the way, after we've started on phase two, we'll of course start on phase three, which is two buildings uh, that are uh, four stories at either end of the main building, slight angle to the main building, and these will be a total of 128 deluxe hotel suites, somewhere in the four to 600 square foot each range, and we expect them to be completed by the end of 2015. So when it's all done, this is what we're looking at right here. And when it's all done, not only will it be 212 keys, it will be the largest hotel in Nicaragua. It'll be the only truly global brand on Nicaragua's Pacific Coast, as it is today. <clears throat> and very importantly, it will be upgraded from a Wyndham Resort to part of the Wyndham Grand Collection which is a very prestigious designation. Only a small handful of the 7,000-plus Wyndham properties are designated Wyndham Grants. We're very, very excited about this. So what we're going to talk about now uh, is Phase 1. That's this main building that you see here in the center uh, and toward the back of this image. But this is what it all looked like. <laughs> before it was built. Roger, do you remember those days? Absolutely, Phil. Sorry there, I, I had muted myself. But uh, yeah, that uh, sometimes that seems like a lifetime ago, but uh, in, it, in other ways, just yesterday. It's, um, <laughs> you'll see from the pictures coming up, there have been big changes since then, but... Um, well, rather, yeah, right, and and please jump in with any comments you have, Roger. You're the builder. I might be the sales guy, but you're the builder, um, and and this has so much more meaning, I'm sure, for you than it, it that I than it does for me, only because you know you have an understanding of all this stuff that I don't have. Um, but I I could I I could have included hundreds of pictures of construction progress. I only chose four or five, but let's just jump in. What I like about this particular picture is it, it kind of gives some context to the reality of uh, where the Wyndham is, and uh, this is one of the villas um, on property, and you can see some other houses beyond and so on. Um, and by the way, 
folks, you know, who are on the call, if you want to download our property packet, this will have all of the information that you could possibly want to find out more about what's available, what does it look like, what are the floor plans, the building plans, the master plan, home sites, uh, Milagro Verde, um, fractional ownership, everything is in the property packet. Just jot this URL down and by all means um, jump online at your leisure, download, you just have to put in your name and email, download uh, the property packet, you'll have all the information. But I, I wanted to, to point out the generous proportions, um, I really think this is pretty fantastic stuff of all of the condominiums. The two bedrooms that are in the middle section of that main building are the La Marea's, the two bedroom, two bath, 1,466 square feet. For those of you more comfortable in square meters, 136 square meters. The La Brisa, which is, if you recall my mentioning, those four units on the very first floor, you know, front and back, each end, they're oversized two bedroom and they also have an extra half bath um, but they're 2220 square feet or 206 square meters and then the three bedroom two and a half bath that there are four per floor in the second third fourth and penthouse fifth floor 2553 square feet 237 square meters total square feet total square meters I mean that's massive uh, you know if you took any one of these units and you put them oceanfront in Southern California or in a, a you know a resort part of Florida or otherwise you'd be talking millions of dollars okay and I think you'll see shortly we're not talking millions of dollars here but this is very okay, exciting so stuff. I'll, I'll jump in there too. I'll jump in there for one minute too. And uh, many times I've had that question about, okay, well, with the economic downturn, I can go buy a place in Florida for, you know, a hundred and twenty dollars a square foot, and, and I don't doubt that. I've seen those those sales available. But your point there is one hundred percent on spot. In that, sure, I can go buy in Florida for those kind of dollars, but I can't go buy beachfront like you know walking out your door and taking a few steps down a waterway past a pool and you're right at oceanfront that that still doesn't exist and it in the United States and it does exist here in Central America and specifically in Nicaragua yep yep and and we're very very excited about that let's let's look at where we were in December um, anyone who knows the property, um, you'll see, maybe use, uh, um, I, I won't say his name, but that cool house with the, the uh, tower or turret there um, as a reference point. But that's where we're in December, mid-December. And then that's where we were in mid-January. And it's just rising and rising. And... Um, you know, I stretched the picture just a tiny bit. These guys aren't like normally this fat. Um, but this is where we were uh, towards the end of March. Uh, they're, they're going up second to third floor, pouring concrete uh, in this particular shot. And then, pretty cool, thank you, Roger, for supplying. Um, this shot was taken yesterday. More uh, prepping for the next concrete pour, I believe, no? Yes, that's correct. For tomorrow, actually. Terrific. And so that's what's going to be the result. 42 condominium residences plus that upper pool, upper tier, if you will, of a multi-tier resort pool. Probably would be June of 2014, but we like to hedge, you know, because we don't want, you know, anyone's expectations to be dashed, uh, you know, unforeseen, whatever. Um, but probably... Bottom line, around mid-2014 um, for completion and opening. Well, you're probably wondering by now, okay, this is terrific, but bottom line, you know, what's it going to cost? Well, he, he, here it is. We have 11 out of 42 condominium residences 
for whole ownership remaining available. I'll speak in a moment about our fractional ownership program. That's interesting too. But for the most part, we have one of those oversized two bedrooms on the first floor. It's on the ocean side as you're with your back to the ocean facing the main building. It's the ocean side uh, unit on your left. Um, and then we have uh, both on the second floor two gorgeous, massive three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath uh, uh, residences either end Oceanside, and we have one that has what we call a golf or volcano, volcano view on the front of the, the, the building. We also happen to have in the center of that um, uh, second floor a two-bed, two-bath uh, residence. Unique in that it only has one adjoining wall. It looks down on the other wall with a window into from the upper level of the two-story lobby, as well as, of course, having a beautiful balcony and view out to the ocean directly. And then um, we really only have available one two-bed, two-bath residence on the third floor. The two three-bedrooms that we have have been placed into the fractional ownership program, and as you can see, uh, the two-bedroom, two-bath um, M303 has been reserved. Uh, on the fourth floor, we only have uh, two of the two-bedroom units uh, available, 404 and 405. Uh, that's towards the center of the, the, the building. Beautiful views straight down over the, the multi-tier resort pool. Um, out to the beach. The other two um, three bedrooms, like on the third floor, have been uh, placed in the fractional ownership program. And then we have um, uh, really two absolutely spectacular two-bedroom residences on the penthouse fifth floor, uh, 503 and 508. Uh, and you know, this is, this is, it just doesn't get any better than this. We also happen to have, with a, a volcano and golf view, um, we have uh, M501, uh, which is one of those large three-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath residences. Um, and, you know, this is not a lot of real estate remaining, but I'm sure anyone listening in can understand. Things went absolutely crazy after we announced um, February 21st um, our partnership with um, Wyndham uh, for the property and a number of units were were reserved in the days that followed. So we came up with a fractional ownership program because we recognize that uh, while the overwhelming majority of people want to take advantage of the great values in real estate in Nicaragua, um, that in some cases, whatever the case may be, whether it be uh, a cash issue or um, uh, they already have multiple homes or they can't envision themselves um, spending more than a month in Nicaragua at any given point in time, we developed this fractional program. Now, imagine this. We've taken uh, a handful of our beautiful three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, 2,553 square foot um, uh, residences, we've put them into the program. We are offering one-twelfth ownership shares. Now, when you do this, and I have a background in this industry, so trust me when I say you have to hold a certain amount of time aside for every uh, residents in a program like this for anything, for unforeseen, unforeseen realities, you, you know, for maintenance, for upkeep, for anything that, that happens to come up um, to make sure it's in tip-top shape. So take four weeks out of the year. So you, you're de you go from 52 down to 48 weeks. So what we're offering then is one-twelfth shares. So what does that mean? That means each share has four weeks or 28 days of usage for each owned share. Now, in Nicaragua, unlike North America, you can't sell a fractional deed. What you do is you take the condominium unit, 
you put it into an LLC and you issue shares proportionate to the ownership of whatever that asset or assets might be. So there's going to be 12 shares issued. So you're buying one of those shares. You own 28 days worth of usage. And the bottom line is we're only going to sell 10 of those 12 shares per unit. What does that mean? That means that out of 13, not 12, but 13 four-week periods, we're only selling 10. And the bottom line is from a usage standpoint, you are better able to get what you want when you want. Your annual fees or costs are about $500 per share. 450 of it is your share of the Property Owners Association and $50 is the uh, real estate taxes. You can book your time up to six months in advance. You're not obliged to take it seven days at a time or 14 nights at a time or otherwise. You're not obliged to go from a Saturday to a Saturday or a Sunday to a Sunday or a Friday to a Friday. It is entirely at on, based on availability, first come, first serve, maximum six months in advance, but, you know, in theory, if you wanted to take every Saturday night for 28 straight weeks and it was available, you could do that. I don't think you'd be very popular amongst your fellow owners, but you could still do that. Um, and so what's the bottom line? The price is $60,000 per share for a 2,553-square-foot residence for a full month. Um, payment terms are $25,000 at confirmation, $25,000 when the roof is complete on the building, which is anticipated for August or September of 2013, and then the final $10,000 is due when the building uh, building's occupancy certificate has been issued and the building is delivered, which is slated for mid-2014. It is an absolutely fantastic program. We have shares available. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not like we have only one or two available. We do have a number. We put quite a number into this program because we also have a lot of interest from the local Nicaraguan and Central American market. But bottom line is, if you want in on this, there are a number of benefits to moving forward with it. Here are just some quick renderings. I'm going to go through them very quickly. Roger, if you have any comments, please feel free to jump in and, and, and offer your thoughts. Um, but uh, I want a bottom line so we can respect everybody's time and, and finish well, up. I will say, I'll say most importantly, I will say most importantly, these are, these are architectural renderings, and they absolutely don't do... Uh, they give you a good idea, but they don't do justice to what we will we will see here in uh, in 2014 if this uh, completes. But uh, good idea going forward. And and again, as I said earlier, um, I was sort of obliged by space to um, uh, squeeze or or condense some of these pictures. So if they look a little narrow, that's my bad and not <laughs> the, the the intended affect of the rendering. Um, this is the living area here of the three bed, two and a half bath. Again, it's been squeezed in. It's actually much more expansive than that. Um, this is a nice shot of, of what you can expect with your master bedroom. Um, and this is just a nice, you know, rendering essentially uh, from the beach looking up towards uh, the main building. You're going to have villas right and left of this uh, this pool area. Now, real quick, I want to run through. There are a handful of advantages, incentives, bonuses, call it what you will, <clears throat> um, for reserving tonight. Again, we only have 11, count them, 11 um, whole ownership condominiums, Wyndham condominiums remaining tonight. Okay? Uh, these bonuses will expire, and trust me when I say I'm I'm a real nice guy. I would let it go until my birthday birthday sometime in in August, 
but I answer to Roger and a board of directors, and they say, no, <laughs> Friday, April 12th, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, you snooze, you lose, but here are the, the bonuses. I think you'll be impressed. First of all, 10% off of all of those final release prices listed earlier. And again, you're going to get a copy of this. If you download, and I'm going to show you the link again, uh, the property packet, you're going to have all of those prices. Take 10% off. If you're filling out a reservation form, just write the price, minus 10%. We can calculate the math. Don't worry. Um, there is no 10% discount on fractional shares, unfortunately, because with the fractional shares, not only do we have a limited number, but you're also buying essentially a fractional share of not only a residence, but also a furnished residence. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. Bonus number two, lifetime golf membership if it's a whole ownership buy and a um, corporate golf membership if it's a fractional ownership, which essentially covers your share ownership period has the same effect as the lifetime golf membership with a whole ownership at the country club of Milagro Del Mar. Very cool. No greens fees, nominal charge for uh, either bag rental and or uh, cart rental. Um, now here's one of my favorite bonuses and I can't thank Roger enough for being insightful enough to, to allow this. You know one of the biggest issues when you buy pre-construction or during construction is you you lay your money out there or some of your money and you just have to sit there twiddling your thumbs until maybe it's delivered. What's up with that? Well, here's the bottom line. If you buy today, you get to enjoy today. In fact, for home ownership, any one of those 11 remaining units, you're going to receive from the moment you make your confirmation deposit 10 complimentary nights stay per 12 months period of time in the oceanfront Las Perlas condominiums until your residence is delivered. If it's a fractional ownership share, it's five complimentary nights per 12 months until the occupancy certificate has been issued. So what does that mean? If it's longer than 12 months before your, your residence is delivered, you're going to have more than 10 nights. If it's less, you're going to have less. But the bottom line is you can come now. You can come this spring, this summer, this fall, next winter, whatever, at your leisure, by your schedule, complimentary stay in the oceanfront condominiums until delivery. I don't know of anyone that allows that to happen. This is really, really cool stuff. And then finally, uh, that we're offering, I mean, I'll just say it this way, um, but I don't want you to be uh, misunderstand. I'm mis you know, I don't want you to misunderstand, but essentially you're going to receive an all-expense-paid trip to Nicaragua to confirm your decision. What this means is, when you reserve and you've placed your reservation deposit, come on down. Come on down to uh, one of, if not our next destination tours, May 1st to May 5th. We'll talk about it in a sec. And uh, you'll enjoy the property. You'll see Nicaragua. You'll see the project. You'll see what it is you're contemplating buying. If and when you confirm that purchase, you are going to be reimbursed up to $1,500 against your receipts, whether it be for airfare or hotel or otherwise, uh, or for the destination tour itself. Up to $1,500 towards your trip and your travel. So here's the deal. Our next destination Nicaragua tour, May 1st to 5th, I'm going to try and, and, and uh, finish up quickly here. Um, in the interest of time, we're, we're almost at the top of the hour. Uh, bottom line, there is no better way, if you've never been to Nicaragua, to learn about Nicaragua than to come to one of our destination Nicaragua tours. May 1st to 5th, 
Wednesday to a Sunday is the next scheduled time. You're going to see the property. You're going to see the country. Uh, you're going to experience the foods, the smells, the sounds, the surf, the the golf, the you know beachfront massages, uh, the bird watching, all of it. Volcanoes, shopping, uh, colonial city of Granada, a boat ride on on Lake Nicaragua, uh, which has a number of little islands and uh, called Isletas, one of which is populated by monkeys. All of this for. Five ninety nine per for a single, four ninety nine per person, double occupancy. That's two hundred dollars off the normal price, which even at that is highly subsidized. The value of this trip is extraordinary. Here is a schedule. I'm not going to take a lot of time uh, and go over every point. Again, you'll get a copy of this uh, sometime probably tomorrow or tomorrow evening, uh, and you'll be able to look at it at your leisure. But the bottom line is that um, from the moment you arrive at the airport and enjoy VIP arrival until uh, you go through a couple of days at the property, a couple of nights in Managua, um, sightseeing on Saturday where you'll see the Messiah volcano, which is a, 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 a an active volcano. And you'll look at the Laguna Apoyo. You might recall that picture I showed from that cute little town, Katarina. Um, you'll have lunch and a, and a brief tour of uh, Granada and a boat ride, a boat excursion on Lake Nicaragua to see the Isletas, um, and if time allows, uh, even stop at uh, the Messiah Marketplace. Uh, <clears throat> before you know, going back to Managua, having a, a reception and dinner, um, and then as sad as we will be to see you go, um, unless you extend, you'll be leaving the next morning. Um, but bottom line, this is available. Mark down, either mark down this URL, info.malagrodelmar.com forward slash destination dash Nicaragua dash tours. Or go to our website, malagrodelmar.com, and on the right-hand side, even if you have to scroll a little bit, just look for uh, destination tours. Fill in, you know, click on that link. It'll bring you to a page. Put your name, email. We'll reach out to you and get you all fixed up. Um, it really is a, a fantastic time. Now, how to reserve. Um, again, here we are. Please write down the first step there. Um, the URL, info.malagrodelmar.com forward slash property packet. If you go to that site or that URL, it's going to bring you to a page. You put in your name and your email, and it will then allow you to download both the property packet, which has all of the goodies, all of the information, inventory, pricing, um, floor plans, building plans, home sites, Milagro Verde, fractional ownership, everything. It also will allow you to download the reservation form, which is very straightforward. Let me um, just highlight the fact the reservation form is not a contract. You are not obliging yourself to a thing to fill it out and reserve a property. It's merely the first step in the process. But you fill that out, scan it if you can, and you have your passport and driver's license handy. Uh, you want to um, scan copies of those as well. Fill out your contact information on the form. Email it to us at info at milagrodelmar.com. That's all there is to it. Very simple. If you're only curious to look at the property packet, we understand. Go ahead and do so. What I heartily encourage you, however, to do is to also consider, even if you're not prepared yet to reserve a property, to go and uh, find out more about our destination tour. Okay? And again, for those that don't know me, my name is Phil Alexander. 
feel free through that info at milagrodelmar.com email address to reach out and ask any questions of me or of Roger Keeling, our CEO and managing partner, or our director of sales, Roberto Zelaya, uh, and uh, or anyone else that you may know that's that's connected with the property. Um, and uh, we're only too happy to answer any and all questions that you might have. We know that in just one hour we can't uh, go over uh, in undue detail. Um, and I probably should have said that there is a chat box on here, um, and you're more than uh, welcome to ask questions. All you have to do is, is uh, type them into the chat box. We will try and answer all questions um, before the end. Um, but anyway, step one, um, download the property packet and the reservation form, fill it out, uh, submit it, and um, then next we will be in touch with you. Come visit with us May 1st to 5th, uh, and uh, we really hope to see you very, very soon. Um, Roger, do you have any any closing thoughts before I uh, take a look and get to uh, any questions out there? No, I just want to thank everybody for joining us, and uh, I hope that uh, hope that you saw something you liked here, or, or something that at least intrigued you to uh, make a decision to come down and check out these last eleven units we have available, and and uh, see why crazy people like me decided to uh, sell my business in Atlanta and come down here and make this uh, beautiful place my home. So uh, I hope you uh, throw some questions at us if you have them, and otherwise uh, I look forward to meeting you in person if you can possibly uh, find a way to come down and check us out. Thank I do you. have a, a couple of quick questions here, Roger, if I may. I'm just going to throw them out. Um, and uh, the first one is... Um, let me see. Da, da, da. Um, someone wanting to know um, if it's possible to get title insurance on properties that they purchase from Malago Del Mar. Absolutely, we have a uh, master title policy, uh, our master uh, title insurance policy through First American Title, available on any unit or any home site that um, that's available here at Malago Del Mar or. Uh, you know, anywhere on the property here. So the answer to that is a resounding yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, and um, well, this is kind of specific about a question about property taxes. Um, do you want to speak to that, or would you like me to? Um, I'm happy to. Uh, property taxes here are very, very reasonable. Uh, what you will find is uh, approximately 1.1 percent on an annual basis of your of the contracted purchase price, and um, you know that is subject to reassessment uh, as the years go along. But uh, when you when you compare our property tax rates here, they're extremely low. Okay, that's that that's terrific. Um, and there's a question about um, if I buy, um, can I place my unit in a rental program? And if so, um, what what is the um, split with the management company? Well, right now, uh, the answer to that is absolutely yes. We would we would highly encourage you uh, if you're an uh, owner of one of these units to place it in the. Uh, rental program, which will be, at, I mean, your unit is going to be advertised all over the world through the Wyndham uh, Central Reservation System and through the power of the marketing of uh, the Wyndham Hotel Group and Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. So it's a great opportunity for uh, for seeing rental income. Currently, we have not finalized the split yet. We are projecting uh, conservatively at the moment that the split will be 60% to the owner and 40% to the management company. For every room night, uh, for uh, for every dollar, in other words, for every dollar of rental income that uh, comes in on your unit, you would receive sixty cents on the dollar. And because of uh, some um, tax laws that we've taken advantage of here uh, in Nicaragua, the first ten years of your rental income would be tax-free uh, under Nicaraguan law. So there's a lot of good reason to to 
to get involved in one of these units on a rental basis and to put the unit into the rental pool with uh, with our management company and with the, the Wyndham Hotel Group flag uh, flying above that uh, this hotel. That's fantastic. Um, here's here's a, actually a very good question. I probably uh, should have spoken to this when I was talking about the fractional program. Um, is the fractional program timeshare or not? Answer, no. It is not timeshare. Timeshare is a program uh, that, that some developers will use um, by which they sell purely only usage rights and not real estate. Whereas uh, in our case, uh, the reality is um, that uh, we actually are selling a true fractional ownership interest in a particular piece of real estate. There's a huge world of difference there. If that asset is sold at some point in the future for a profit, let's say, all of the shareholders in that asset would benefit to that extent. You can't do that with, with timeshare. Um, yes, and the key word there is a fraction to a title. It, it, you're absolutely right. You're not buying usage rights. You are buying a fraction of a title. Um, and here's a, a, another question that just came in, Roger. Um, would the rental cover the cost of a mortgage on the condo? Um, I, I don't know if you want to answer that or if you'd like me to with respect to some of the, the um, cash flow analysis that we've done. Well, I think the best thing to say there is every situation is different. And it, so many, there are so many variables there, how much money you're willing to put down, what, you know, what kind of interest rate you get, where you get that financing. Uh, <coughs> for the most part, we, uh, from a, a reasonable standpoint you should be able to come close to covering that that note and again it depends on every situation and Phil you have actual analysis on this that I think you could provide to any individual who's on this call and, and possibly get on the phone with them and walk them through that uh, absolutely absolutely and and something that you know sort of atypically um, to the normal sort of optimistically minded uh, salesperson Roger um, is anything but a taskmaster but in in that said he is also a very astute and conservative businessman and has insisted that in our modeling we use very conservative numbers uh, both in terms of occupancy rates and in terms of average daily rates. Those two factors, of course, are going to directly determine what kind of revenues you can expect, and that's going to speak to what your annual return, prospectively, is going to be. And I, I can say that on a cash-on-cash -cash return basis, um, generally, in the modeling we've done, we've looked at um, covering all costs whether it be mortgage or, or, or the management company's uh, cut or, or otherwise taxes, et cetera, the, the you know, homeowners association, you're, you're generally looking from our modeling at you know, 7 to 11 percent annual return, cash on cash return on your money, which I think is pretty, pretty fantastic. Um, and, and especially given that we're using very conservative numbers. Okay, um, let's see. I am going to see if we have any other questions. We're coming up on quarter past the hour. Um, I thank everybody, um, by the way, who um, uh, took time this evening to be on this call. Uh, and um, as I said earlier, when we close things down, you will get a little three or four question uh, survey. I would very much appreciate it if you take a moment to complete that. Uh, and um, feel free to contact us uh, either if you have questions, issues, um, can't download properly the property packet. We can get it to you. Uh, interest in coming to the destination tour. Maybe those dates don't work for you and you want to look at, at something uh, a slightly different schedule. Whatever the situation may be, we are here at your disposal to work with you. Um, and I thank you very much. Roger, thank you for taking your evening uh, and, and spending it with us.
Now I want to uh, thank you, Phil, and thank everybody on the call. I, I've I've kind of watched the numbers here. This is the uh, the largest group that we've ever had on one of these calls, and uh, so I think uh, I think everybody is maybe everybody out there is is starting to uh, believe what the press says and realize that Nicaragua is uh, a, a real place of opportunity at this point. So I hope to I hope to meet a bunch of you who are on this call. Come see us. Well, and and thank you very much. We're very excited. I I, I think even if you're not part of this project, to have uh, a, a group like uh, Wyndham uh, come into a country like Nicaragua is pretty special. They decided uh, they wanted to sink their flag uh, in this country, and uh, and and we're very blessed that Milagro del Mar is uh, the project that they uh, decided to, to sink that flag. That's going to speak to not only increased values of the, the residences um, that folks own, but also drive higher occupancy rates, higher average daily rates, and so on um, through that entire process. But thank you, everyone. Um, hope to see you soon. Look forward to your questions uh, and uh, any reservations that um, you're inclined to move forward with. Roger, thank you. Thank you, Phil, and uh, good night to everyone.